Hi Martians! Uh, it's about 8 p.m. here in Pasadena. Um, it's around about the same time on Mars right now, actually. And I uh, wanted to show you a fun little toy that uh, JPL has. And this is actually publicly available. It's called NASA's Eyes on the Solar System. If you just do a Google search for it, you should be able to find it without any problems. Um, and it's essentially an ORI, a working model of the solar system that you can play with in all sorts of different ways. So here's the solar system as it is right now. Um, you can click and you can tilt it and look at it from different perspectives. Then you can zoom in on something like Mars. Boom! There it is. It's got uh, the main moons, Phobos and Deimos. It's well, the only moons, really. Um, Phobos and Deimos, it's got the satellites that are currently in orbit around Mars. And you can see if we zoom out a bit, there's Marco A and Marco B. Let's flip this around a bit. All right, there they are. So if we actually wind this back, we can reverse it in time. Here's a little controller down here. And so they are going back towards Mars. Uh, currently, this is tracing their existing orbits. We're going back to the landing, landing date. They've disappeared from there, but we'll get them back if we zoom in just a bit. For there they are. There's InSight and Marco A and Marco B. Approaching Mars about 51 minutes a second right now. So here they are coming in. This is November 25th. Zoom in as they get. So InSight's coming. It's going to land on Mars. Actually, Mars is in its way, and it's just going to make a soft landing. Marco A and Marco B are going to continue past Mars, get deflected by its gravity, and keep orbiting the Sun. So there we go, all the spacecraft that are happily orbiting Mars, giving us all kinds of good science. And here comes Marco A, Marco B, and InSight. We keep zooming in. And there goes InSight right to Elysium Planitia and Marco A and Marco B go off in their separate directions. Okay. See how they've spreading out after they pass by Mars. So they're no longer traveling together, they're in separate orbits around the Sun and will be so forever. You can zoom back out a bit, have a look at the whole solar system. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this. There's Voyager 1. Deejer. Um And yeah, there it is pointing back at the solar system. Look how far away it is. It's freaking incredible. Um, lots of uh, dwarf planets. Uh, the New Horizons spacecraft, which flew by Pluto uh, in 2015 and is going to be flying by uh, a new object called MU69 uh, on January 1st. There it is. Oh, time's running fast and the spacecraft is spin stabilized, so you see it looking all crazy. Let's go to the real rate. There we go. That's how fast it's actually spinning in real time. Looking right back at the sun. Well, at Earth. It's nuclear powered, so it doesn't need solar power. Um, there are some tours and features. Uh, you can't see it, it's off screen, but there's a tours and features up here where you can actually go to see different spacecraft and what they, uh, what they do. So this is loading up. It actually loads up the Pluto encounter. And this is what New Horizons actually did when it arrived at Pluto. And it shows you all of the um, data that it takes. Let's see how we go. Here we go. Yeah. So this is a pre-programmed simulation. So distance to Pluto is listed down here. Relative speed. You can Play around with this. Oh, it's got the, it's got the present date on it actually. So let's see, what can we do? Um, replay. Right. So in the upper corner here, these are the scientific observations, and you can see that uh, as the different cameras, the different instruments point at the Pluto system, they uh, show these little outlines. Pluto has four moons. Uh, Charon, the biggest one. Oh, actually, no, it has five moons. 
Charon, which forms a double planet system, and then uh, Nix, Hydra, and Kerberos. Let's see. I can bump up the rate. Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, what's the other one? So here we come. Flying by Pluto. And you can totally speed this up and slow it down any way you want. So anyway, Eyes on the Solar System. It's an amazing program. I actually used it a little bit when I was figuring out all the stuff for my tattoo. So um, download that. And um, I guess I'll see you in a week after you've exhausted yourself. Um, all right, y'all take care.